the tell. But that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, but too hard to drop. Stop clocks on this beat bag. Every yell from the Welcome back, Hookaholics. Foul mouth fishing. Another MTB Elite. So I just got back. Well, I didn't. I just took the wife to work, and now I'm back here at home. And uh, today I got my MTB Elite for the month of February 2021. So uh, slice and dice and rip into this. I got to say, I kind of cheated. Um, you get an email, and they say if you'd like to, you can tease and see a few of the baits. Uh, that are in the box. So I kind of clicked on that while I was waiting and anticipating to see what was coming into my MTB. Um, I wasn't overly shocked, uh, but I wasn't disappointed either, roughly. There's probably, if, if what I got on the email is accurate, there's probably two things in here that I really am not too keen on, but the remainder of the items I'm pretty, pretty happy to have. Um, some are just, you know, boilerplate, what normally comes in MTBs. Uh, but there's two in here that really do I appreciate. If you don't know what MTB is, it's this little box right here. They come in three uh, package levels. You have your standard, your pro, and your elite. This is the elite, which is the top of the tier. Um, in each box, you'll have a series of baits or um, tackle items, uh, angling items. And uh, each month, you pay a subscription price. Uh, the higher tier you go, the elite is a higher cost but you'll get more items in each box when you go to the Elite as compared to the, to the Standard. And uh, your hope is that you invest X amount of dollars and you'll receive XYZ amount of dollars in items in return. So you're hoping that you spend uh, $45 on one box, you'll get $55 in, in value or better. Um, so MTV is pretty good. It's been out there forever and uh, you know customer service is top notch uh, considering all the different subscription box companies that are out there. So I've never had any complaints on that side. So let's see what we got in this month's MTB Elite. So with each one, you'll get a little pamphlet, Dibble Digest. Uh, we've got Fishing Secrets, How to Hide Your Fishing Secrets. Uh, cold Water Bassin, that's good, February, it's still cold water. Uh, that's one squirrely lure looking at tail spinners. Tail spinner picture right there. Uh, my go-to trout lure is tail spinners. Uh, so there you go. I like those. And beetle spins and trout magnets, etc. But tail spinners I've always just liked. I don't know, it's, it's antiquity. I just like it. Um, so there you go. A little, little pamphlet for reading. Keep you busy. Give it to uh, your youngin if, if they're interested in angling. Just keeps them kind of occupied uh, during the, the, the wait for a bite. Um, you also will get a decal, which I don't see here on the top, uh, but there's also a little card in here called the What's Inside card, and it shows the lures and items that are inside this month's MTB Elite, and their, their uh, retail value as MTB posts it. Uh, if you're a member of the Shop Carl's Club for Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Co., these item prices will be at a non-member's uh, retail price. If you're part of the Catch Co. Shop Carl's family, then these prices will not equate because you'll get a, a very substantial discount on the majority of the items that you'll ever see in here. Um, so for the most part, items that they have in these boxes, they'll also offer on their website. Uh, not always, but there are occasions when, when it's, it's offered both ways. And if you're, a members of the shop, if you're a member of the Shop Carl's, you'll save uh, a good substantial amount of money. So I do suggest going for it if you're a person that uh, likes to go shopping for, uh, for lures or scissors or hats or bibs or whatever. Uh, go on their reels and rods. You can get decent good uh, content, decent good discounts on the items. Um, so it's a, it's a plus. But again, if you're only a person who shops once 
or twice a year, it's not really worth the uh, the investment, personally. Just my honest opinion. That being said, right off the top, a Catchco collab product with Mike Buka. This is their baby bull gill. So it's like their you know, like his baby bull shad, which was the um, downsized resin version of the original bull shad, which was a, a much better bait. Or I should say this is the plastic version of his resin bait. So the, the original bull shad is a resin pour. Uh, this is a catch co inject molded plastic version of that. It has the same basic, you know, it'll have the same cadence. It'll have the same uh, general swaying pattern. It's just not as high quality as, uh, or, you know, as the hand manufactured versions of Mike Luca, uh, Luca's uh, bull gills or bull shads. That being said, this is a three and three quarter slow sinking swim bait. And this is, if memory serves me, natural gill, natural gill. So it's like a perch pattern slash bluegill pattern. You have four joints, your head main section, two intersections, and a tail section. And what I love about these bull shads and bull gills, the Mike Buka products, are these fan tails made out of basically, you know, boar's bristle, um, you know, nylon painting bristles. So it really does give you a soft flutter. It has the ability to catch light. You can see it just with the lights of my camera. You can see the flicker. So you can imagine this going through the water and catching light and, and casting that little flicker off the back, the shine off the, off the perch lines here um, as it's S-curving under, underwater. It's a slow sinker, which is good. Um, I would like, I mean, me personally, because I like to tune things, if I had a slow fo floating, a slow rising bait, uh, then you can add weights to it to kind of suspend it or have it slow sinking, you can tweak it that way. Any bait that's a slow sinking bait, it's kind of hard to get them to rise, nearly impossible. Um, there are ways you can actually you know, drill into the bait and hollow it out and add some sort of a buoyant material, styrofoam, uh, you know, pump spray foam. I've done that in the past, drilled a, a couple of pilot holes and injected uh, foam into it to get it to, to rise or float. Also changing out for lighter, smaller, uh, rings, split rings, and lighter, smaller hooks. Um, this isn't really an option because it's such a, a minor, a small bait, uh, being three and three quarter inches. This one weighs, let's see if these, they have to have a weight on here, or they probably don't. Slow sinking three and three quarter. Oh, let's see, where's the box? Nope, just empty plastic. So I don't know exactly what the weight is, but it's not that heavy of a, of a bait. Um, so I do have this in a different pattern in the bluegill color. So this is nice that I have two different tones. Uh, it always does kind of hurt when you have the exact same color, same pattern. So I'm happy to have this in my arsenal because it's a different paint scheme than the one I already own. That's not bad. And it is a good bait. I mean, Mike Luca is a legend. Um, $14.99 for that blue, uh, for the baby bull gill. Next up, another good, good priced uh, item from Live Target. This is their hollow body shiner. So this, I think I've had this as well in the past. It's a soft plastic, uh, little, little swim bait, kind of like a, a hollow body frog. They have a big gaff of a hook. Um, I do, I have one of these. I got this in a different box, I believe. Uh, this is a wire that runs down from the hook tie on the nose, down through what would be the jawbone, out to the bottom, just behind the, uh, the, pector uh, yeah, the pectoral fins, um, behind the gill plate area. And you'll see that the harness comes out the bottom and then they, they've hooked a nice extra wide gap hook on there. This is half an ounce, four and a half inches in length. And um, it's just basically a shiner. It's a good swim bait, but it's it's very soft, pliable uh, plastic material. Um, I think I'm gonna throw this into that giveaway for uh, Christmas in July, because I'm pretty sure I have the exact same, I'm, I'll check which color I have, whichever one I think is more uh, fortuitous to catching fish. I'll, I'll throw that into the, uh, and thing. I think this is probably best. It's got that shiner color. I think as long as the other one's not a, no, a nicer natural color, that's got that gold line through it. But uh, we'll see which one's better. And uh, I'll put that into the giveaway for Christmas in July. So add that to the count, guys. That's $13.49 for the live Target hollow body shiner. Um, next up, another Catchco collaborative brand. 
uh, supporting. So this is the Guggen Squad's clutch. So this is their standard clutch. It's not their little clutch junior. This is a two and a half inch sinking, one half ounce uh, lipless crankbait for $7.99 retail value. Um, I can add this to my big pile of Guggen baits that I've collected over the years. I haven't, I don't believe I've even bought one at store. I think all of the Guggen Squad products that I own, I've collected in these boxes. So that's nice. You've got a rattling lipless crank with super sticky hooks, as always. The Guggen Squad's eye centered right there, the little logo in the eyeball, which is, uh, you know, they're calling trade, trademark calling card. This is a really nice uh, winter lipless. It's got that yellow tone, the yellow gold on the bottom. It's definitely got that bright uh, call-in red crawfish pattern. Crawfish colors, huge during cold water season. So this is definitely something i take out tomorrow and toss in the lake and see what I could bring up. Catch a feeding bass during this uh, slow time. They'll still go after moving baits even in cold water. Uh, as long as you're in like, you know, that 40 degree, 30, 35, 36 and up. Um, when it gets to like 36, 35 and below, that's when I just start dead sticking. Throwing worms, throwing uh, really finesse jigs, uh, and just kind of, you know, slowly reeling it back. Retrieving it ever so slowly. Mind-numbingly slow. But uh, but in this period of time, water's still in the 40s, you know, low, low 40s mid thirties. Um, I still go for lipless crankbaits, uh, jerk baits to a point, you know, twitch, twitch, and then pause it for, I do 15 counts, 20 counts, jerk, pause it for another 20, 25 count, jerk, 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 pause it for another 15, 25, 30 count, just dead pauses, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, just mind numbing pauses. Uh, but that's good. Seven dollars ninety nine cents. That's a good buy for this. And you know, Google Squad does have good quality. They don't skimp on the paint schemes, and they don't skimp on the quality of the hooks and hardware. So for that, I'm going to say it's certainly worth the value. Where's the package? So I'll add this to my Google Squad collection, and I'll probably be doing a springtime uh, video with this stuff. So we'll see. That's nice to have. Next up, Wu Tungsten's pocket. Pack. So this we've had in the past. So we've got two sets of colors of beads, a cranberry and a chartreuse yellow, three beads. We have a 3 16 ounce uh, bullet weight, two of them, and a set of uh, bobber stop pegs. Um, so we've got a little nice tungsten pocket pack. You can throw it into your pocket and you can Texas or Carolina rig. You've got the beads on there for Carolina rigging. You can straight tex Texas rig uh, any worm. You just need a hook. It would have been nice if they packed behind this two extra wide gap hooks. Um, so then you can have your two Carolina, Carolina rig on one hook and your Texas rig on the other. Uh, you just supply your soft plastic, be it a, a worm or a fluke or whatever you want to throw. Future um, bait would have been nice. But that being said, for $5.99, good goodbye. Add this to my collection of tungsten weights. Um, as always, I say, if you're in open water, or fishing off a boat, tungsten, can't beat it. If you're in tournament, tungsten. Smaller profile, same or higher mass, smaller volume is always good. Uh, it doesn't distract from the bait, uh, as opposed to having an old lead, lead bait, which has to have a larger profile for the same amount of, of mass. So that's always good. If you're in twigs and uh, rocks and chunks and everything that you could possibly hang you up, stick with the old fashioned lead. Save yourself the money. If you're gonna, you know, break off constantly in a very catchy, snaggy area, unless you're a Rockefeller, don't worry about the tungsten. If you're in a tournament situation, you have the potential to get a bag and, and make money out of it, then yeah, it's worth the, it's worth the cost. But uh, to each their own. Next up, something that I do also swim in the in the winter months. This is a Roadrunner, which is a name brand from my childhood. This is their Marabou Pro. So I'm thinking this is a Marabou jig. Oh, okay, it's a Marabou underspin. So you've got a little, that standard old fashioned Roadrunner, silly, goofy looking face head, but you've got yourself a little underspin. Uh, I do have Marabou jigs. 
I do have, uh, this is a quarter ounce, and it's got that willow leaf with a roadrunner stamped into it. Marabou hair underspin. Not bad. They want this at $5.50. Um, it's a little pricey. I mean, this is an old-fashioned style. It's an old-fashioned company. Golden Craw is what they're calling this. It's all white. So I'm not going to call it Golden Craw. I'm not. I'm going to say the package picture is Golden Craw. What they packed in it is white, even though what they have listed on the back as a color is Golden Craw. So their photo is Golden Craw, but they packed a white. That being said, I'm all honesty. It makes me think that these are a bait that didn't match up with uh, quality and assurance. So they kind of just offload them at a discount. Another way that these companies can send out these boxes, give you a quality product at a discounted price to them and still show a value to you. So that being said, I'm not upset that it's white. Um, I know people, out, a lot of you out there might not like white. Most people don't really fish white. I have had great success on smallmouth and especially on rainbow trout and trout in general on white, uh, white jigs white um, uh, grubs on, on a hook, just, you know, standard fish in that, but uh, curly tail grubs. White's never been a bad color for me, even though I'm in a northeastern area in New Jersey where white is not uh, a known color. It's not a, a high, a highly known and valued color in fishing. I've just been lucky, dumb luck, I guess. So uh, that being said, not bad. Again, that's uh, $5.50. Four to go. Hard hats diesel jig. We got hard hat jigs, diesel jig, good color, green pumpkin and blue. They're calling it the Okeechobee Craw with a four-odd hook in your standard football head jig. So I got tons of these too. Um, I love these things. Hard hat makes some excellent, excellent jigs. Uh, their paint does not chip uh, when you're running it off of a riprap or, or wood or docks. Um, you can beat the living crap out of these things. And most importantly, what I do like about them is this right here, that weedless weed guard saved me a lot. I've thrown these up against docks. I've thrown these up against tree laydowns and stumps. Um, and that really has protected me from getting hang, hung up. And yet it doesn't stop the hook set. So they do, they do pin fish very nicely and they do have extremely sharp pointy hooks and good quality, tough hooks. Uh, on their on their jig heads, and like I said, their paint doesn't doesn't chip off easily. Um, it lasts for quite a while. Uh, that said, I would love for a company like Wu Tungsten or something to come out with like a little instead of going into your wife's uh, makeup kit and pulling out her nail polish. Why they don't have a uh, an, a like a hard setting paint that you can come back with all the colors that are offered. And just brush it and touch it off. MTB, Shop Carl's, Catch Co. There you go. Me giving you an idea. Little bottles of air drying epoxy paint that you dip it in the little brush, you can brush it on, let it sit and dry, self levels, cap that off, and in the air, or in the UV, sitting out on the on the on the boat, the UV light and the air will dry it off to a hard uh, shiny, you know, semi, semi gloss, doesn't have to be a high gloss, um, but a very, you know, durable finish. I'm sure you could get in touch with an automotive manufacturer of paints that could come up with something that'll work without having to, uh, you know, have too much invested in the person applying it, waiting for it to dry. That all said, dip it, spike it, another, I've not seen anything like that. I don't know why that seems kind of a, a no brainer for people who do jig fish quite a lot. That being said, there you go. There's one set of skirt here that's gonna drive me nuts because it's manufactured and stuck together. I'm gonna peel it apart because otherwise I'll go freaking batshit crazy. All right, now, <laughs> now we're 100%. Not bad. Uh, again, I love hard hat. I love diesels, uh, the diesel jig, uh, the football jig. $4.29, great success with those two. And that's something that I would throw a small craw on or a uh, a little Ned like a TRD or something 
take a TRD and take a pair of scissors and just cut a couple of little niches in it uh, in, in each direction so that the end kind of frails out a little bit. You can peel it with a, you know, spread it out, tear it a little bit. And it gives you just a little bit of uh, a tickler, like a TRD tickler, a little bit of, uh, of um, action and just throw it out and just slowly, slowly, slowly reel it across the bottom during these cold, cold water months and uh, see what happens. Uh, Hard Hats 429. Next, Excite Baits Raptor Tail. These I had before as well. So, ooh, there's the decal. All right. Excite Baits Raptor Tail Worm. So these are basically a curly tail worm. Not bad. Excite Baits does pretty good plastic. This I might even suggest throwing on that diesel jig. So you've got this standard curly tail. The difference being at the end, there's this tiny little barbel little tiny ball on the end just ever so slight little flicker on this curly tail great again for uh for cold water finesse fishing because there's not a whole lot of action but that ball definitely adds that little tingle and tickle in front of the fish's eye something like this as crazy as it seems cut this guy off just ahead of the egg sac of a normal worm cut it off right there put that little guy right up here and now you've got a really trick uh, you know really trick um, trailer with just the slightest little bit of action here as you're straight uh, slowly rolling this across the ground across the bottom of the, of the lake or, the, or whatever you happen to be fishing in and it's such a small amount that once that fish slurps it up it'll roll up in a bowl and you know hook them up it's not going to be such a, a broad, bulbous mass of soft plastic that it might roll up and, and stop the fish from inhaling it or engulfing it. Um, but it adds that little bit. And it's a good color combo with that Okeechobee crawl with the little peppered, speckled green pumpkin in the trailer and this to go right along with it. So that makes up pretty nicely. Not intended, I'm sure. Um, although Mystery Tackle Box always tries to put things that match together, this is, I'm sure, more for the tungsten kit to go Texas rigging or Carolina rig, because this also would be great slow drug across the bottom. But uh, this is also high floating, so that tail, that ball, is going to flicker up and hold. So when you're, you're paused with that little jig head, it's just going to sit there and dance in the current. Awesome. Green pumpkin, black uh, pepper flake, I'm going to call it because there's no color on here. Um, not a bad, it's not bad, it's not a, a sample pack, it's a full pack. So you got what, three, six, nine, I'm gonna say 10 in here. Three, six, nine, nine or 10 in the pack, that's not bad. The Excite Beats Raptor Tail Worms are $4.05. That's a good value, uh, product quantity to value, that's, that's pretty good. Next, a company that I love, uh, an innovator, the originator of the soft plastic worm, Cream Lures, but this is not their worm. This is what they call their Pro Pro Crawl, Pro Series Crawl. Three and three quarter inch, five pack in green pumpkin. This definitely go on that jig, on that Okeechobee Crawl jig. So you've got Cream Lures Crawl. Got six little legs, floating uh, paddles, and it's got a little, um, flange right here to catch water. So when you swim this on a swim jig or just twitching it in the current, those little paddles are gonna catch water on both sides of the paddle and give you that little flutter and flicker. Again, I think this is a floating lure. I'm sure it is. Cream does some pretty good stuff. It's not an expensive brand. It's a brand that's been out there since I was a little little uh, guppy. And uh, it's something that you just you know you grow up with. It's like it's like the original Bill Lewis rattle trap. Everybody has one in their tackle box. Their grandfather has one in their tackle box. Father had one in his tackle box. Um, it's just something that has tradition and uh, just a sense of I don't know nostalgia that I have to go with that I like. Um, that being said, again, it's not an expensive bait. So this is something that it's it's a manufactured in a way where you can afford to have them tear up and replace them with another one and another one. They do have in them a little groove uh, on, the, on the back end here for your hook placement. It's a little rigging 
niche right there. It's not a slot per se, but it's basically the where the two plates would be on the craw. So that gives you a good indicator as to where you can fish out your, your hook on that. And it's got a little funny textural like V right here at the top. That's interesting. Very interesting. So that's pretty cool. But that gives you a point where you know where to pull your hook bite through to the, through the top of it. Um, I like that. And again, it's a little finessey, finessey fishing lure for this period of time. That's awesome. The Creams Pro Crawl is $249 and it's a pack of five. Again, good value, product quantity to value. And finally, something that's pretty much standard and I knew this was gonna happen and I wish they would not count this as part of the product product uh, value, but for $1.99, at least you get more than one or two. It's not a dollar a hook, but you get three of the Harmony's Fishing uh, Straight Shank Worm Hooks. So you got uh, three little standard gap, little straight worm hooks, three pack. Not bad for two bucks. Can never go wrong with having hooks. Everybody needs hooks. Can't fish these without these. So again, you've got your Wu Tungsten, the hooks, and the worms. There's your Carolina rig. Done. You've got a lipless crank, a swim crank, a swim bait, hard plastic. There's your water, water columns right there, slow sinking and obviously lipless crank. You've got a spinner bait, uh, you know, underspin, marabou flash to go with that water column floating or on the bottom, you've got this jig and your craws. So there's your jig and it's uh, a supporting trailer and then you've got your marabou flash that you can just run raw so this water column bottom of the water column and then of course you've got your standard fluke bait again kind of goes with this and that water uh, parameter a shallow shiner so you've got all the different water columns moderate uh, high full you know high water column not necessarily having top water because it's winter but you got your moderate you got your mid and you've got your bottom so lower water column, that's pretty good, and things accompany each other. And that's one of the great things about MTB over many of the other box mystery packages. Most of them just throw a bunch of baits in, random baits, which gives you the randomization of the mystery. However, they don't have any desire when they're picking these products to have them mesh or have some sort of continuity that you can take these boxes, unlike some of the others, and put it on your boat if that's all you have is your rod, your line, and this box, you're gonna be able to fish and not just one style of fishing. You'll have multiple versions, multiple techniques, all in uh, a to-go. I mean, this this is almost like a survival package. Uh, the only thing you're missing is obviously your, your rod and your reel and your line. Um, not bad, again, like I said, I cheated a little bit because I saw they had the thing when I was checking to see when it was going to arrive, and I kind of accidentally clicked on, on the on the cheat part. I wasn't expecting that. I was trying to move the screen, but I clicked on that stupid thing, and it opened up, and it showed me, and I was like, all right, well, I went through and saw a couple of the items. So uh, kind of knowing what was on there, I did not know uh, what the, uh, the Marabou was going to be, so that was a good surprise. I do like Marabou stuff, um, and I didn't know that the cream was not worms. I thought that was going to be worms, but it's cross. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I didn't pay totally attention to, to what was on this on the site. Um, that said, I'm, I'm impressed. Tell me what you think. Were you impressed with these? Again, I appreciate you guys giving me input into your finesse baits to add to our giveaway box. I'm going to give a couple more days, and then I'm going to grab uh, you know, a shopping trip up and pick out some of the finesse baits that you, Foul Mouth Fishing Hookaholics, have suggested. What are your go-tos? And with that... Um, you know, we're going to keep building this box. I'm intending to have this be a very usable and, uh, you know, a community-influenced giveaway. I don't want it to just be me going to the store and buying a bunch of stuff and saying, here, this is what you need. I want you to tell me what you need. And I think that's going to be the better giveaway. Nobody else gives away stuff like that. Most giveaways are leftover baits. I mean, I do add them too, but, you know, I get in a box and I find something that I already have. Uh, I'm don't want a duplicate or don't want a triplicate or a quadruplicate of something that I already have. 
and I'll add that to something you might not have at home. But at the same time, that's not all I'm giving. Um, I'm happier to have you interact with me and do the giveaways that way. And I don't have my own product line like the Guggen, so I'm not just going to give you a box of just Guggen stuff as a giveaway. I'm giving you a box of all kinds of brands as a giveaway. Um, because there's brands out there that you know that I've never come in contact with, and there are things that I know that you've never had to actually uh, deal with. I do have a friend who I work with, and his father-in-law uh, makes saltwater baits. So his father-in-law actually is a very well-respected and, and known um, uh, bait maker. And uh, I'm going to hopefully, uh, if you're watching, <laughs> get a, a few, you know, a small sampling. And I'm hoping to be able to put together a little uh, video showing you his, uh, his quality lures, because I've heard very good things about them. Um, with that said, I want to wish all of you a, a happy, healthy uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm prepping for my Valentine's Day. Today's my triple threat month. I've got the wife's wedding, I've got Valentine's, and I've got our anniversary. All happens in February, so I'm kind of being drugged in many directions. With all that said, I hope all your Valentine's Days go well. Uh, I hope uh, you're with a significant other, whoever that might be, or just a family love that you can, you can share companionship with and not be lonely, especially in the pandemic that we've just come through with all that loneliness and the interactions that we didn't have as much as normal. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit of normalcy in everyone's life uh, and hopefully we can move forward better and stronger. Uh, with that said, keep your lines tight, keep your rods high, and uh, with that, I wish you all the best. Have a nice, healthy, happy holiday, and I'll catch you on the next cast, Fishaholics. Peace. I almost forgot. Our February MTB Bronco Bustin' Bass, I guess. It ain't a Texas tarpon. It's a Bronco Bass. <laughs> our decal, our sticker from MTB for the month of February. I know that's the most important part, and I'm not going to forget it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Catch you next time. For the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before.